dynamic instabilities can arise from various sources and it's important to account for them in designing structures especially in tall towering structures that are high above the ground it's very important to tackle the excess kinetic energy in the system one commonly used way of tackling this is by dissipating the excess kinetic energy in the system using special devices called as tuned mass dampers these are installed in various skyscrapers on top of transmission lines and even in some vibrating equipment a tuned mass is nothing but a heavy mass of specific magnitude that's attached to the structure in such a way that it's free to move in several directions almost like a pendulum when the structure gains excess kinetic energy the tuned mass absorbs most of this kinetic energy and begins to oscillate this way the rest of the structure is stabilized but we still have a rather heavy mass that's oscillating which is not very comforting so we attach dampers to this mass which in turn will dissipate the kinetic energy as heat energy this way a tuned mass damper will absorb and dissipate majority of the kinetic energy from the system and in the process stabilize it in this example we'll study the stability of a four story building in the event of an earthquake We'll use a simplified structure of the building with just the concrete floors that are supported by structural steel columns. We impart a horizontal acceleration to this building with the profile that mimics a typical earthquake. We'll see how the structure reacts to this load profile and then we'll try adding two types of dampers to this structure. to minimize the instability first let's study the response of the building to this earthquake without any damping we perform a transient analysis since the inertial effects are crucial for this study and at, and also a time dependent load profile is used for mimicking the earthquake here we see the total displacement response of the structure to this load it experiences a maximum displacement of about 163 mm at the top of the building we can see that the structure vibrates without any reduction in displacement which is a dangerous sign for a tall building now let's try to fix this issue by using dampers but before we do that let's perform a model analysis to identify the potential locations where dampers can be installed After we solve for the mode frequencies, we'll first identify the significant modes. From this table, concentrate on the effective mass ratios. We can see that these three modes are contributing to 97% of the total effective mass. So, let's concentrate on these modes. We'll see how and where the kinetic energy is stored in the system in these modes. Here are the contour plots for the kinetic energy densities in the system at three different modes. In mode one, which is the most prominent one, the kinetic energy is concentrated on the top floor, so it will need most of the damping. In modes two and three, indicate that some energy is also distributed among the lower floors, so the lower floors. can also use some damping to attain stability using this information let us now install dampers in the structure we'll use two different configurations for this purpose in the first configuration we'll add dampers to all the floors of the structure since the top floors need more damping compared to the lower ones we'll use dampers with higher damping coefficients on the top In the second configuration, we'll add a, a 10 tons tuned mass in the top floor and attach some of the dampers to it. 
will not add dampers to the rest of the structure in this case. Now, let's perform the same transient analysis on these two structures and compare the displacement response of the building against the undamped structure's response. Here are the time histories of the maximum displacement in the structure for the three systems. We can see that both the structures with the dampers are able to reduce the maximum displacement of the structure significantly compared to the undamped structure. Also, the system with tuned mass damper is able to perform more efficiently compared to the other systems as it's able to keep the maximum displacement lower in comparison and it uses fewer dampers of lower damping coefficients. This shows how effective the tuned mass dampers are in absorbing majority of the kinetic energy from the system and then dissipating them in a controlled and timely manner.